Zen just might be the sanest thing in an insane world. That's what I'm teaching. Opening the invisible door to consciousness. Meditation on Saturday. Zen and the tea art. Welcome, I'm Susan, your teacher and guide, known of as Suzanne, and this is my Zenity channel. I'm teaching you a few of the ways of Zen. They are our arts, practicing our skill in mastering life and living simply. Our way to daily contemplation and connection with the whole. Because we're not together physically in the same place at the same time, I'm using the 4,000-year-old centering meditations for our contemplation and connection. We call this in Zen, we call this the way of opening the invisible door to consciousness. And this is the teaching. Make your tea if you haven't already. Green tea, preferably, and let the boiled water cool for a couple of minutes before infusing the tea to preserve its delicate tea nature. We usually always use the same cup for our tea drinking contemplation, and all the better if the cup is old and well loved. When you're ready and you're settled, be still. Be silent. Allow a restfulness within and focus all concentration on your tea. Zen and the art of tea drinking is to accept, appreciate and revere what naturally occurs and exactly as it is. In an atmosphere of harmony, tranquility, purity and reverence. We are all equal when we take time out for tea, with the concerns of the world temporarily distant. And the teaching is... 4,000 and 5,000 years ago in Kashmir, India an experience was documented following ancient years of practice. Trying to explain an ancient way of experiencing the immanence, the Newman within, the religious experience within, or the thrill of the vibration of the universe in our human nature. There is a story, but maybe right now it's better told without names, dates and places. Just energy. Great Mother Nature wanted the mind of the universe to transmit something which is in all of us, and yet it is a mystery. The story goes this was transmitted in a love chant, which we... Each one of us, as the divine child of divine feminine and masculine, will never truly understand. Only accept and revere. And what I'm always teaching you is, Zen has always been about love. We need constant dedication in practice, even to try to test the love in the meditation. And we'll centre ourselves now in this way. Just as the universal wheel is centred in the mystery. Eyes closed. See your inner being in detail. Thus, See your true nature. And 
imagine taking your time out now with your tea nature and being connected with the whole of nature. And I'll sound the bell three times at the end of meditation time. I'll repeat the meditation now. Eyes closed. See your inner being in detail. Thus, see your true nature.
Namaste, or Gashu. Do now take your time out for tea drinking daily as a regular routine. Every day this week before next week's meditation. And I hope you can join us and keep the meditation going, keep the connection going uh, next Saturday, same time, same place. Tradition is to give donations following meditation for support of the temple. And this, this channel is the temple at the moment. And we can appreciate it for exactly what it is, thanks to YouTube. And you can find out about community time on Sunday, so that's tomorrow following class. Or if you're uh, taking this class, this meditation through the week, community time is on Sunday. And um, the link is below for the short video about that with the uh, with the timings. So basically, I'm online on Sunday for an hour following our meditations. And namaste. I hope you can join us. And please remember, your Zen is always with you. Enjoy your meditation, Suzanne. Balance is what happens when you know in your heart something is right. <laughs>